Good morning guys, I leave you with Yara today because I'm really busy with work. Just wanted to show you the kitties, they're all over me. What's up? Now you're quiet, mm-hmm. Or not. Are you hungry? Yeah, what do you want? Wouldn't it be funny if he says food? Good morning guys, I've been doing a lot of work today. Actually, I got up just after Sarah left and she was in a hurry, which will come into play in a second while I'm mentioning that. Uh, I actually started cleaning up downstairs and upstairs in the office. I vacuumed pretty much every single room so far. Um, I started laundry too, it's not that crazy much, but it needs to be done, otherwise we get our like once in a two or three week <laughs> laundry pile that water falls down the stairs and I'm trying to avoid that a little bit. We just need to make sure we fold all the stuff once it's clean. I also started editing a vlog. Problem with that was is that uh, Adobe Software is awesome. I have used it for many years now. It's glitchy though, and it will crash at random moments for no good reason sometimes. And there's a thing called Premiere Pro, which is where we edit in. Then you have a media encoder, which is basically like a separate part of that, which allows you to make the video, the actual video, like an actual file. Um, it crashed a lot of times in the past, so I stopped using it. Yeah, I, I started trusting it again, and I was editing the next vlog already, which is the one that, well, is yesterday's vlog, technically speaking, or today's vlog. The brain doesn't work, but you, you understand. And it crashed, not knowing that it crashed. So after two hours of me editing next vlog, it's like, oh, I should probably upload the vlog that I already exported. Uh-uh. Didn't work, so I had to go back to Premiere Pro and manually export it, which basically means that I can't edit at the same time, which sucks. Oh well. I will learn to live with it, I guess. The reason why I was uh, mentioning that Sierra was in a hurry is that last week I actually got a new gear case. I've been using gear cases for a while. This is the one that I've been traveling with for a really long time already. It's been through some stuff and I love this thing because it fits most of my camera equipment that I want to use, like cameras, lenses, like basic stuff like uh, audio gear, some lighting stuff here and there, but it's fairly big and heavy. Uh, it it can check it in as luggage and the cool thing about it is it has like handles so I can actually walk with it. And I love this thing to death. I always take it with me when I travel somewhere and I need more gear. Problem with that is, is that if I do take less gear, I need either a backpack or I've used this one in the past too when I just go on a little ride. And I actually wanted this one, which is a carry-on size from Pelican, which is a proper, really expensive brand, by the way. But I found it on Amazon for a really good deal. And it also has a handle with wheels, so you can actually roll it. I don't have to carry if it's heavy. Sarah had to make some photos and other things today, so she was like, hey, can I borrow your camera and some lenses and so on? I was like, yeah, sure, take it, it's fine. Forgetting that we now have a smaller case that you can take with her instead of putting it in a backpack so it's a little bit more secure and stays nice for longer. So I was like, hey, why didn't you take it? She's like, well, I forgot that we had it. The only thing now is, you see that? I recognize that that is my case. We need to make that more custom. And you guys come up with an idea what I should do with it because I want to go away from stickers. I want to spray paint like a logo or something on there. And I thought about doing my own like No Motion Films logo on there, but I don't actually have a real logo yet. I've been using like little concepts and things uh, because I needed something for the website that I have that, oh yeah, I also need to look at because it's been down a lot lately. Stupid web hosting. But yeah, let me know if what should I do with the case to make it more us or me in this case. Let me know because I know you guys are very creative. You're way too cute to move. All right, show us your underbelly. So, today we actually found out that I don't have to transform my visa just for a video producer. I can also be a user interface designer, what I've done before, as long as it is within the things I studied. Basically, I studied computer science, digital media, so anything that can be connected to that, I can do. So, this gives us 
more opportunities but then again i haven't worked as a user interface designer for about four or five years <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting and we actually have a couple of interviews lined up so fingers crossed <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Guys, I need to show you. What did you vlog it? No, not this one. Okay, he's leading the way. Come on, open the door. There we go. You refolded me my laundry. And done. And the kitty is in the basket. It's boring. Of course it is. Come. Get your butt out. Get your butt out. Don't get your butt in further. <laughs> ah. There you go. It's a baby boy. Is it? Spink, spink, spink. I can't see it. It's so fluffy. I bet it wants to go back. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Work. Good night.